It's beer on o'clock on Reload Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from France. And it's a bottle of Meteor Classic 27 Pilsner. Coming in at 5% ABV. There's the bottle cap. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass and loads of smoke actually. Here we go. Looks like a classic Pilsner from France. We got a two finger white head. Good levels of carbonation. Nice clarity to the beer. It does look a little bit unfiltered. Yeah, it's definitely a little bit unfiltered there. Very light golden amber coloured beer. Good clarity. At this stage of the beer review, I'd like to thank our channel sponsor, beersofeurope.co.uk, for sending us to bit today's beer and sponsoring, sponsoring today's video. Uh, check out beersofeurope.co.uk in the description box of the video. On with a go with a beer, 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 oh I can't talk tonight. On we go with the beer review. <laughs> Aroma. I sounded like Tweety Pie then, didn't I? <laughs> Yeah, just a, this is just a classic Pilsner. I don't think there's going to be anything too dramatic, too, too kind of really kind of out there and special about this beer. It smells peppery and dry. Touch of lemon, not an awful amount of aroma going on. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, Woo. blimey, that's ripe. Um, oh. Oh, that's, um, my initial reaction was I didn't like it too much. And then it kind of like strangely kind of grew on me towards the, the end of the taste. This reminds me a little bit of Bell's Birth. Oh, um. Oh, blimey. Uh, ooh. No. No, I don't. I've, I've been trying... Trying to draw things out of the beer. I'm trying to draw flavours out of the beer, but I've just not been able to do it. Um, it's just got this kind of, like, just industry real I mean bad industry it's like what am I trying to describe here it's a really poor quality pilsner if I'm honest I've had some really good pilsners lately pilsners from the Czech Republic pilsners from Germany and it kind of like changed my view changed my thoughts on pilsner and and I I started to enjoy Pilsners. I think if this was my very first Pilsner and I had a few Pilsners after that that tasted like this, I don't think I would ever drink Pilsner again. Oh, it's, uh, no. I tell you what it is, it's, it's a real shame because some of you guys will know I made a video called Bellsbeth Extra Strong and I named the beer review the worst beer in the world. The problem with that is, is that the beer was from France and I don't think I've reviewed a beer from France since. 
And the next beer I review from France is, is a really terrible example of a Pilsner. I've ordered nine or I've ordered ten beers from France from Beers of Europe for this month's selection. It seems like we've got some really good ones. Uh, there's a Le Blonde Esquil book. There's a Pepper Trip. There's a couple of the Cheaty, Cheaty beers, the Amber, the Triple and the Blonde. Then I got a Blanche de Cambrai. Then I've got a Bebby Courses. And, Oh, and I've got, a, I've got a double IPA here from another brewery from France, and I'm just hoping... I'm just hoping that, that some of them are really good. Some of them are really good, because at this stage of me reviewing beer from France, it's been nothing but just false dawns, just, just, just bad beer. Let's rate it. Oh, blimey. Um, Classic 27 is the original French Pilsner brewed in Alsace, northeastern France, since 1927. The finest Alsatian and Czech hops are used. Alsatian? Alsatian and Czech hops are used to craft this well balanced, crisp, and floral beer. Cheers. Michael Hag, the seventh generation brewer. Uh, the Brasserie Meteor, based in Hochfelden in France. Water, barley, malt, maize, hops and yeast. There we go. It's the maize, isn't it? But you don't need maize in a pilsner. Come on, mister. What was your name? Michael Hogg. Take the maize out of your beer. You don't need it. If I had to drink that all night, if I went into a bar and that's all I had on, I think I would be, I think I would drink Coke. I don't think I could have a night drinking that beer. I don't, I don't think I could. It's, it's really a bad example of a Pilsner, Michael. Um, I'm going to rate it. I'm going to give that a 3 out of 10. So 3 out of 10 from Real Old Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box, subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews, give us a big fat thumbs up, boom, cheers.